Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. I'm going to do some shell coasters today and with leftovers maybe some earrings or whatever I can come up with. And of course I'm using counterculture, medium viscosity, parts A and B equal. I used them the other day and it takes so much longer to set up. I'm so used to medium viscosity I just am not interested in using the thin viscosity for <laughs> it just is so much easier with the medium so I've got it mixed up in my cup here I'm going to mix a aqua blue a sandy taupe color maybe and a creamy white pearly that's what I want so I'm going to kind of separate my colors into a couple of ounces each in my little plastic beakers and I'll save I'll save some clear. I'll move this one coaster out of the way so you can see me mix my colors. This is a shell so I want the white to be the majority of it at least about half of it and then the other to be the blue and the sandy color. So I think what I'm going to do is make the most of the white so that was just a, little, a few drops into about two and a half to three ounces of resin. Cast and craft. So it's going to make it white, but I didn't put a ton. I didn't want like super opaque. I do want it just a bit transparent. I probably didn't even mean to put that much in, to be honest. So I'm going to add actually a little bit more resin. So it's going to be probably closer to three ounces than I have of this one. So I'm going to, I want to really shimmer it up. Can you shimmer up something? Is that possible with resin? So I've got Angel Wings, and this is from the Funshine Color Shop, and it's an Etsy store. And uh, the American version of it is in Texas and Petra Jeanblood. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. She's in another part of the world, and she does have someone that sells her micas in the U.S. out of Houston. So I have always put a link below my video to their Etsy store where you can get the micas. And I have a couple of favorites. One of them is Sparkle Miner's Gold. I use that quite frequently. The Sparkle White, I have a large container. It's, it will go in any color and give it so much shimmer. I'm using mostly her micas. I think I want me some more of that. So let's just say that I've put maybe about an eighth of a teaspoon to a quarter of a teaspoon of mica in. This is a little sample that I got. So this is angel wings with some white pigment. I'm not going to stir it super fast at the beginning because mica is so lightweight and it will fly everywhere and you don't want it flying around in your face or into your coasters or anywhere like that so you just kind of slowly kind of intermingle it and mix it really well. Now that's getting pretty really pretty. I'm going to now put some sparkle white into it. This really has shimmer factor. That's shimmery. I don't know if you can tell. But it's pretty shimmery and white, so I like that. So the blue, I'm going to do a combination of colors. This is blue marlin. I'm going to start with just one little scoop. So that's very transparent, but it's pretty. And then I'm going to add green fields. i put a scoop of that in. So this makes it more of a soft blue green, which is really, really pretty. So I just got to decide if I want to add more strength to it or not. Uh, I also have blue jasmine. This is a kind of a bluish purple color. 
I'm going to put a little scoop of that in, just out of curiosity. Want the beach vibes going on. Oh, that really made it pretty. Okay, that's really pretty. I'm gonna go back to the green fields. Put in another little scoop. So, you know, this would be like what you would put on the end of a popsicle stick as far as the amount I'm putting in with that little scoop. It is not much at all. It would just be what you could kind of load up on the end of a stick. So I want it, I want it kind of oceany blue green. I want, I want a little bit of that green feel to it. So I'm going to do one more scoop. That'll be it. Okay, that's really pretty. Now, this one is sepia, S-E-P-I-A, sepia. I want it kind of like a sandy color, but this still has some, a lot of shimmer to it. We're going to see how it kind of turns out first, and then I may add some gold to it. I'm not sure. So this is sepia, which really kind of makes sense. It, sepia is like when you're doing an ink wash on a painting or a drawing, and it's kind of a soft, rusty, it's usually a rusty color. And so this is like a really kind of pale version of that. So I love this. I'm going to add a little bit of Sparkle Miner's Gold to it. Because you can never go wrong with gold, <laughs> in my opinion. So let's try that first. Kind of warmed it up a bit, which is really, really pretty. And I'm thinking I love that kind of the way it is. I'm going to stop there on that one, I think. I'm going to put, this is a resin dye. It's called Caramel. I'm going to put, didn't mean to put that much, but it was supposed to be a few drops. Warms it a bit, too. It just kind of deepens it just ever, ever, ever so slightly. It didn't really change it much at all, which is good. Now it's time to get busy and put these into the molds. I had to kind of lay these out the way I could to where they're totally flat and still on my hard board which is under my silicone mat. I have a really hard board to keep it nice and level. I do like to just every so often pull out the level, make sure I'm good. Make sure to scrape your stick too just to make sure you don't have anything clean to it from powders or whenever you use pigments or anything, you always scrape your stick good just to make sure. I figured out that these molds hold no more than two ounces and it might even be just a little bit less. They're not super deep, which is kind of good. I don't think they need to be more than a quarter of an inch at, at the most. They are etched on the one side, on the back side that you're pouring on. I kind of put a little too much there. I want to, I think I want to take, well, I'll just go ahead and add more blue. them to the max as far as what the coasters will, will hold. So got some resin left over. I was going to put clear in, but I really don't have room for it. 
So now I'm just going to heat it a little bit. Trying not to scrape the bottom, just trying to dip pretty gently. Quite a bit of resin here left, so I want to do a deeper color. Made and this one can't see it, but it's I'm gonna put probably about an eighth of a teaspoon of mica. So this is mermaid. She has some beautiful, beautiful micas. Look at that. This is strong. I put a good amount in and the resin is warming up quite a bit so it's going to be much more pigmented than the other was. I'm also going to pull out some foam grips down here just to have somewhere to pour. Cover it up, check back in about five or six hours. Okay, just wanted to, uh, I unmolded some stuff, I just couldn't wait. So I've got some really pretty shimmery um, cell phone pop socket holder thingies. It's actually some pretty colors together. This mermaid. Um, is just really a pretty pretty color and then mixed in with those other colors very pretty look at the cute little feathers these are the earrings really pretty shimmer I don't know if the camera picks up but it's pretty shimmer and the cutest little dog tag look at that mermaid just glistens and then a little uh, dog tag kind of thing that's a little bit transparent it's shimmery but then it's kind of see-through um, so that's kind of neat so I took out one of the coasters and so let me show you so this is what they look like which is really pretty on this side and then the other side has the the etching. So if you can see, see the etching there. So my question to you would be, do I embellish the etching with a metallic paint or do I leave it? What do you think? I almost took these out early and put them in a bowl to form them into little bowls, like a little shell bowl, but I didn't. I wanted to try at least the first set as a coaster. So These are new coaster molds that I just got from Pro Case Design, and I'll put the link for the Etsy shop below my video. And these were the earrings from Counterculture, the mold. And they've got some lovely mermaid shimmer to them. They're pretty. I love the color. So let me know what you think about the coasters. Do I put, say, gold on the edges? Do I leave them the way they are? And do I put, like, metallic gold into the etching, or do I leave it the way it is? as you can see there in the reflection. But I love the mermaid color that kind of got mixed. Well, 
It wasn't really mermaid, it was a mixture of colors. The mermaid was added at the end for the leftover resin, which has a more vibrant, deeper color. This was in the bottom of the cup of leftover re resin. I couldn't get it out of the cup because it had thickened up so much. It had gotten so thick uh, from heating up and everything that it wouldn't pour out of the cup. So I left it in the cup and so here's the, the bottom of the 12 ounce cup. And it's kind of stuck to it. I've tried to peel it off the resin and it, it leaves a kind of a matte looking on the edge. But anyway, I thought it's still really pretty, just even what was left in the cup that hardened up. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out the links for the uh, molds that I use. And I'll be putting the uh, jewelry makings on the earrings and the tags. And I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye.